SmackDown Live with the Lynches. This is us. We are live in our domain, I guess you want to say, <laughs> <laughs> for episode number six. It is a new year. It is 2020, and we are live. We are ready to rock and roll. Uh, we are going to bring you SmackDown episode number one for the new season of 2020. We're going to give you Friday's reviews. I am the cessationist Chrissy Love. This is Mr. LJ. This is Mr. Love. And where's Mr. BK? That's the third week in a row. Is it three weeks? Happy New Year! <laughs> and Mr. BK, welcome. Let's have a seat. Let's talk it out. Let's give our reviews for SmackDown Live. Well, sit oh, back and, and get comfortable because you're about to find out. Yes, let's do it. And Mr. BK, you have your Uno cards that we have, our wrestling Uno cards. Wonderful. Sure. Let's rock and roll. Let's get with it. SmackDown number six. Um, so the show opens up with Daniel Bryan and The Miz. Mm -hmm. um, backstage. Backstage, yes. And uh, the, the Miz is very, very upset. And he is out for revenge, but he can't get revenge because... <clears throat> he lost the match. He lost the triple threat match from last week's episode. Mm -hmm. And Daniel Bryan is now going to face The Fiend at Royal Rumble. So uh, Miz tells... Daniel, that he better do everything in his power to take him down. Stop since, the fiend. To stop the fiend, exactly. Since the feet is the, the humiliating the feet. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. So, yes, exactly. So, uh, Daniel says he'll do everything that he can, and uh, pretty much it cuts to the show, opens up with the pro, uh, with the uh, reviews, mm -hmm. and we have Bailey and uh, Sasha uh, in the ring. And they are opening up with 2020 and saying that they have done so much last year and they're such positive role models. Talking mad smack about the audience. Right, <laughs> exactly. Mad smack. <laughs> saying that they're not role models and they're not going to do anything uh, for 2020. They're just lazy. And um, lazy. Lacey Evans and Dana Brooke come out. Apparently, they're going to have a triple threat match. So, mm -hmm. um, Lacey is still saying that Sasha uh, and Bailey are talking about her daughter. She's delusional. And, and, right, because no one said anything about her child while they were even out there. They must have said it maybe two weeks ago. Dude, and Lacey... She just, she just thinks that... She just thought that they said that. She th you, oh, so you think that they thought that she said that? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, Alexa Bliss comes out with Nikki Cross. Yes, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross come out, and... Pretty much, uh, Alexa is like, I don't even know why we even have to be out here to fight them. Mm -hmm. But then Nikki Cross tells her that they have to be out there because they need to uh, have this big win so that they can get back to tag team women's championships. Right, exactly. Get so back to business. get back to business. And so Alexa was like, all right, let's do, let's start off 2020 with a big win and let's get it done and let's do it. Win win. Uh, but that didn't happen <laughs> because the winners of this this match, which is pretty decent, fairly good match. Um, Dana Brooke uh, got the pin over on uh, Sasha, and so Dana Brooke and uh, Lacey Evans win that match. Win right. win. Win wins. Yes. Win, so a uh, good good um good little thing for uh Lacey and Dana. They're giving them a good little push, I guess. So yeah. What do you guys think about the the women thus far? Mm. Think they're good. good? Pretty cool. Yes. Wonderful. So let's go. So next we have uh, Otis is backstage with Miss Mandy Rose. And how is Mr. Otis feeling? He's feeling mad. He's feeling angry and upset at the same time. Okay. Why? Because 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 Dolph because um because Dolph Ziggler smashed the cake in the previous episode. Mm. Okay, who made that cake? His mom. His mom. So his mom's hard-earned time making that cake for Miss Mandy Rose, and Dolph comes mm -hmm. and just smashes it. Yeah, Mandy Rose just let Dolph just smash it. You know what? Ooh, that's true. She did allow it. She didn't even try to stop him. She did not try to stop him. She yeah. just stayed. So I think that's why Otis was upset with her. She just, she just stood there and just watched the cake be smashed. She looks like a type anyway. <laughs> So do you think that, you know, it's okay for, for her and Otis? You think Otis will get past it, or you think they will just... No, I think Otis needs to move on, man, you know. Find, find someone that's, like, yeah. someone that will appreciate him and, yeah. and his mama's, you know, cooking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. So then after we have another commercial break, we had the first hour of SmackDown was mostly backstage 
Yeah, there was um, a lot of backstage this week. Um, I did actually notice that. Too. Like, it wasn't that many matches. Yeah. We probably had maybe like four, three or four matches, I want to say. Everyone the, had the, um, maybe you know, five holiday two. ham and all that other stuff. <laughs> Everyone was shit. still probably yeah. off, uh, still away from the holiday, so mm-hmm. they didn't get to work on time or whatever. So, there we go. So, Who then knows? we have The Miz. You know, still The Miz is still crying, still upset. And um, he goes and he finds Kofi and Big E. Mm. And what do Kofi and Big E have, guys? A 2020... Pancake sign. Yeah, they had a, yeah, they had a nice display of uh twenty twenty on a display uh, of many pancakes, which mm. looks really delicious. They were pouring syrup all over it. Mm. <laughs> they couldn't wait to get their hands on it. Right, but then what did the Miz do? Just smash it on just the floor. Just topple it over. He top, he knocked it on the floor because he's really he's a- still. He's still upset. He's still. Uh, he didn't even WWE win. WWE is not food friendly. Um, there's a lot of starving kids in Africa that could have used those pancakes. You know, just FYI. That was a waste of pancakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, sure. Yes, they are. They they are wasting lots and lots of food. They so should throw fake food. They should throw fake food. Okay. Well. I next. Think. So after that, so, you know, Miz is, you know, very upset. And he said, you know, he was telling Big E not to get, um, Kofi was telling Big E not to get upset. You mm-hmm. know, he's just having a rough time. And Kofi, uh, I mean, uh, Big E is trying to, you know, talk some more reasoning with uh, the Miz, but the Miz is not hearing it. And the Miz challenges Kofi to a match. And Why not? It's only, it's only, it's only fair. I mean, well, yes, it is only fair. You're right. It's only fair. So, you know, Kofi was like, you know, he understands that someone needs to let his frustration out, so he will accept his match, and they will have a fight later on in the show. So then we cut back to Elias. Now Elias is in the ring, and Elias is, you know, hitting, getting ready for his uh, segment, his weekly segments of singing. Mm-hmm. And he says that he has a lot coming for 2020, and he's going to be in the Royal Rumble, and he, he's very... Um, exciting. He's um, looking to do bigger and better things for 2020. And he starts about talking about the revival, as mm-hmm. usual, saying that they're still bad wrestlers. He's a and... hater. <laughs> He's really a hater. He's, they're bad wrestlers and that the um, that Dolph Ziggler stand-up is trash and that Dolph Ziggler has an STD. <laughs> STD. STD. <laughs> so, you know, that. it cuts back to now the revival is backstage and they're mm-hmm. like, you know, WWE should put some respect on their name, and they don't even understand why they have to do these horrible or somewhat uh, pointless tag matches. Like he, they, they didn't. He was like, "What is a miracle on 34th Street match?" And uh, Dax is like, "I'm still like messed up from all the Legos that was I was body slammed with. I still got marks on I my mean, body." Well, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of with them a little bit. But, yeah. <laughs> I love I you love the that Lego part. part? Of course yes. you love the Lego part. Yeah, you, I'm a fan of Lego. You, you guys are big Lego fans. Of course you are. But then Shorty G comes in to them and he's telling them that they should just think positive mm-hmm. and they should uh, look on the bright side and don't let the haters bother them. Just go Shame. be the bigger man and just go, you know, go on with everything. But the revival started doing what to him? Making short sure jokes. Mm. Call him Shorty. And he's like, oh, that's that's all you can do is call me short, guys. Whatever. Because like, his name is Shorty G. So he looks like he leaves Because he's butter. short. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> I'm he's short. Yeah, he's short. So they call him Shorty G. So he's he's trying to like capitalize on his shortness and you know make it more you know make it better for him and don't let people don't think about people making fun of him and like you know be bigger. And rise to the occasion and show that short people can, you know, do a lot of extraordinary things. I don't know if you can so, be bigger. But... You don't know if you can be bigger? <laughs> well, I mean, hey. Yep. Anywho. So, uh, Wilder and Shorty G have a match. And, uh, unfortunately, it didn't go very well for Shorty G. No. Because then Dax Cause comes they're... out and Dax interrupts the match. But then, but then, who comes back? The Celtic Warrior. Mr. Seamus himself is back, and he's back with Avengers looking great. Loving the new haircut, the beard, and the mustache all looks Still great. Still needs a tan, though. I don't think he's going to get any uh, darker. I would, I would recommend I think that's. I think that's what he looks like, unfortunately. Yeah, um, he's true. not going to... It's nothing going to happen. He needs to be rotisserie. Though, <laughs> but like. we thought Seamus was out there to help Shorty G, but unfortunately, Shorty G was the one 
that got uh, he he got him. He caught him. He gave him the big old kick in the in the face. He kept, and, uh, he kept getting beat up. Yes, exactly. Oh, <laughs> he wasn't fighting him back. He was not fighting him back, unfortunately. So you know. I don't think he could. He there's no way he could win or beat on those guys. He's just too little. And unfortunately, hopefully, he'll probably get his revenge. Maybe Shorty G will see. But now. Uh, Seamus is back, and he's back for a vengeance, a vengeance. So we'll see what's going to happen with the Celtic Warrior. So then we have the, the new, day. new Day. New Day. Of course. Say what I mean. <laughs> he did, yeah, he didn't. You he weren't didn't. ready. Oh. All right, go. And three. One, two, three. The New, new day. day. Thank you. We have the New Day come out. It's uh, Kofi and Big E. Uh, Kofi is getting ready for his match against uh, The Miz. And... Great, decent match. Of course, you know these two wrestlers are, are phenomenal. There's nothing that these two cannot do. And um, the man is just, you know, out and frustrated and just, just trying to just put out all his frustration on someone because he can't get to the fiend. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Miz unfortunately loses this match, and then he just he just he then he just it keep, he just pouts. He just pouts, and, and then what happened? What did he do after he lost? He just he just walks away, but then he just he kept looks, talking smack. He kept talking smack. Right, right. He he attacked and he lost it and, and attacked Kofi. Remember, he just lost it and just went crazy and went ham actually. And then uh, but Big, Biggie he ran out in time and Biggie couldn't catch him. So that they of course you know had a great match. The match was pretty good. Yeah, okay. match was decent. Yeah. Poor Miz, but I'm I'm sick and tired of the Miz. Crying and pouting like a little girl. Like, shut your pie hole. Yes, sh shut your pie hole. Like you said, exactly. <laughs> shut your pie hole. <laughs> that should be a swear word, but whatever. Pie hole. I don't think so. No, you don't think so? Okay. But in, in the jar. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> shut your pie hole. <laughs> uh, I like that one, Larry. I'm going to tell you to shut your pie hole. What are you talking about? I've been telling you to do that for years. No, what? <laughs> you think he invented that? What? Oh, Whatever. Anywho, next we have another backstage segment. We have Daniel Bryan and, and Roman, Roman backstage for an interview. And they are going to, they're talking about their matchup uh, against uh, Dolph and King Corbin for tonight's main event. Mm -hmm. But Daniel, again, he's talking that he's the only one that has not let the fiend get inside his mind. And and break him so down. Yeah, so and break him down like he has the other wrestlers that has fought the fiend before him. And pretty much he says he's the one that he's going to defeat the fiend <laughs> and uh go to WrestleMania. So Roman is like, Oh, is that right? You're gonna beat the fiend at Rus at Royal Rumble? Well, <coughs> he's like, Well, guess what? I am going to win the Royal Rumble because I'm going to enter it, and I will see you at WrestleMania. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm uh, not understanding how they're making matches, and they didn't even win the matches that they already in. It makes no sense. But, you know, maybe it's just bad writing, and they're telling us what's going to happen ahead of time. And, you know, <laughs> hey, I mean, if it's it is... It's not the first time. You're right. It is not the first time at all. Um, but they are making up this match and saying that they're ready, but they have to. They have a matter of hand where they have to fight mm -hmm. and get ready to beat, uh, meet Dolph and King Corbin. So then we Which have... Which is really, really, really good. Gr absolutely. We're almost there. Too soon, boo. Too soon. No, I'm just telling people it's good. Okay. <laughs> so then we have our our favorite, who is Heavy Machine. Yes. So they come out and <laughs> you gonna do it, London? Can we do it again? Yeah, do it. Okay. One, two, three. Heavy, Heavy Machine. And you gotta go like that. Silly. <laughs> Anywho. So <laughs> we have uh, Otis versus Drew Gulak. And what does Drew Gulak say about <laughs> Otis. Otis? So Manny so, doesn't, doesn't want to date him. Mm -hmm. oh, what else does he say? Right. He just, be, he just busy talking smack to Otis. He's busy talking about Otis and how... And he, you know, talking smack can get you... You know, it can get you into trouble. Oh, yes. What, what, what kind what, of trouble? Maybe payback trouble? Payback trouble? Okay. Stomped out trouble. Yeah, I, I was thinking more so stomped out yeah. trouble. But anywho, Drew Gulak comes out and says that he has how, he has how many reasons that Mandy Rose shouldn't date? He has some uh, reasons oh, that... he has a list. Yeah, he has a list, exactly. 
So, and then um, Otter just starts, it just starts to get angry and it's just start beating up Drew. Yes, yes. So we never got to even see the list of why no. uh, Mandy shouldn't go out with uh, uh, Otis because Otis he was just. He was just beating. He was just beating. Um, he was just beating Drew up. Yes, he beat up Drew. Right. So pretty much, um, Drew Golactona. He looks like he's dripping of butter, and uh, Mandy Rose would never date him. Have the day or time to date him, and pretty much that, uh, Mandy is uh better than that, and uh, he shouldn't waste his time. She doesn't mm -hmm. have her time. No time to waste on him. And I agree. What? What? Really? You don't think Otis should go out with? Thought. She thought, uh, wow. She done let everybody done smash your cake. You know what True. I'm saying? They done wrote this songs about you and everything. Like, <laughs> this song, really? Yeah, Is man. it like a real a full out beach? Yeah, it's like, like Biggie and Tupac all over, man. Oh my God. Big, really? Yeah, and she's like Faith Evans. <laughs> Just saying. I can't. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Just saying. Then we have our next match, which is Braun Who's Strowman coming? against Cesaro, who finally, finally, <laughs> takes off been capris. listening to me and took off his capris. <laughs> he put back on some trunks. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. He looks so much better because those capris was not working out for him at all. Um, but unfortunately, Braun did uh, win and beat <laughs> Cesaro. However, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura had another one up for Yo, him. No, that kick didn't make any sense. First of all, I don't even understand how he can kick so hard. High in, well, then again, it's sort of plastic. The outfit is like pleather. Yeah, <laughs> what leather. Leather. So, so what you're saying pleather. is you don't know, you don't know how he can make do those moves in that type of outfit. It makes no you sense. Maybe you like this. Why? He's gonna yeah. catch a heat stroke one day. I'm telling you, he's gonna get a heat stroke. <laughs> okay. Well. Anywho, uh, you know, we'll see. But then we have our main event. Give me. And it is the. Uh, Roman Reigns against uh, DB, which uh, Daniel Bryan was, was call, um, calling himself, and against uh, oh, King Corbin like and Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> and Dolph Ziggler. Um, the Fiend kept making taunting noises and uh, mm -hmm. playing around with the lights, and then all of a sudden he appeared. You have this, there you go. You have his card. This and, is the old Fiend. That's the old Fiend. That's the old Bray Wyatt. Yes. We don't, they don't have new ones yet. Hopefully they'll make new ones and we can so we can have them. Uh we're not buying new ones just to get an updated picture. I can just draw him on it. Dr really? A uh, print. No? Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Okay. Alright, continue. Anywho. Uh so the fiend finally comes out and gives the mandible claw to uh Dang DB you, and Brian. put him out and lays him out. So then now that was hilarious. That was good. It was really great. It was like a it's like a sock puppet in his mouth. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that, well, that's what you know what he's doing. Uh, I know. Okay. A... Uh, pretty much, I'm guessing that this is a setup of what's going to happen at the Royal, Royal Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. We'll see. Well, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of foreshadowing going on. They're definitely right. um, showing a lot of things to come. Correct. You know, so, you know, put two and two together. Uh, same exactly thing. but not, not nevertheless the match was actually awesome it was really good between the four of them i really enjoyed it but um my yes. favorite part was after the match right so right after who, the match who came out one two three yeah ooh so i was, about to say, was waiting on me i, was say, I wasn't doing it was <laughs> so we had the return of the usos so AKA the usos returned they got AKA. their hair cut yeah, they're looking a little good. little extra gel in the hair. You the know what I'm saying? Slick it down. They had a little vacation time, little things to reflect and look at the bigger mm -hmm, picture. Yeah. So hopefully they've learned their lesson. Don't do drugs. <laughs> the same thing happened. Right, so what happened? What's the same thing? So He got handcuffed. Yeah, he got handcuffed. Yeah, so that, so well, yeah they tried to feed him dog food. They tried, they tried to feed him, feed him dog food, but then the, Uso, the, the Usos came out, and mm -hmm. then they just started beating up King Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. Right, so, they, so basically they say... They saved their cousin Roman Reigns. From getting dog food on him yet yeah. again. Dolph, um, Dolph and where was and Daniel Bryan and all of this? In the corner. He was snuffed laid out. Paralyzed. Snuffed out by a hand puppet. Paralyzed. He was paralyzed, right. Well, I mean, you, you can't get up from that. You you can you, you see anyone get up from the mandible claw? Nope. Oh. Nope. No. Okay, exactly. Maybe I should start giving people the mandible claw. Oh my god. <laughs> Do your work! <laughs> and then put the mandible claw on <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, 
Um, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm excited for the Usos to be back. You know, yeah, me too. Bring uh, the tag yeah. team uh, division back yeah. to you know on SmackDown. Put some you know put some respect on their name. Yeah, for real. Right. Um, I agree. I agree. But definitely um, something to see, something to be excited about uh, for 2020, hopefully, you know. It'll make Naomi come back as well, because she's been missing since they've been gone. I do miss me some Naomi. So, so. Um, hopefully, you know, she will return with some yeah. type of new new off or something for 2020. We need more black excellence to come back. You yeah, know what she saying? can bring them bright colors back, you know, them oranges and them blues. The and neon. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty dope. I, I like it. Yes. I like it. Uh, other than that, Great show. What do you we give SmackDown? That's all, folks. We're not even finished yet. yet. How Sorry. you wrapping it up? Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to You're figure just looking for some right. shot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do we think about this uh, week's episode? I love it. Oh, you, you giving it this? What are you giving it? Up? Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. You just had your hand like this, so. Listen. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I think the ending saved it. Yes. Because of the ending, I'm going to go like this. Yeah, mine is kind of like halfway up. Yeah. I was like this. So you and your brother Dang. have it up. So anyway. All right. Either which way. Decent Seems episode. like it was a pretty good show. A lot, of, a lot of backstage stuff. We need a little bit more matches, I want to say. But overall, yeah. good and uh, ready for next week. Hopefully, the lead up to Royal Rumble will get better. Because that's well, the end of the month. We do talk about the backstage mostly, though. So I guess it's fine. Uh, I guess so. But I do want to see people get body slammed, though. I mean, that is the point. Right? True. Yeah. More yeah. body slamming. Let's talk it. Because, um, yeah, as of right now, we only have, like, maybe, like, one match for the Royal Rumble so far. I'm not, um, Who's that? The Fiend and Daniel Bryan. That's the only one we know of? I think so. What and besides the, the, th the 30 women and the 30 men Royal Rumble. Oh, we got to do a countdown to um, Royal Rumble. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. All right, Mr. Love, you want to do a countdown to Royal Rumble? As of right now, we have I what? I said we, as in I spoke French. Yes, I said we. We, oui, we. Oui. <laughs> All right, as of right now, we got we got four, we got uh, three weeks to go to the Royal Rumble. Um, other than that, uh, yes, in French. We're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. So, sure. with that being said, thank you for watching yet another That's episode. All, folks. I will. Let you know what you can say, okay? Oh, Calm down. Okay, thank you. I will let you know. I'll tap you and let you know, okay? Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, thank you for watching yet another episode of SmackDown Live with the Lynches. We are the Lynches. Our shirts today are brought to you by Fruit of the Loom. As you say, we brought back white tees as in the, the, like the 90s, early 2000s. So we're doing mm -hmm. a little throwback. Anywho, um... <laughs> We, oh, we got to do like um the 2000s with that like oversized t-shirts and hats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like we're from Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, you can send us your merch. We'll wear your merch. We'll shout you out. Uh, we are ready. <laughs> we will again Mom's wear the talking. stuff and be. What are you guys talking. doing? Oh, we were um just playing playing cards. with the cards. Guys, mom's talking. Stop making a mess. Shh. Keep your voices down. I'm sorry, but you kids, you know. Thank you. Um, Bryson? Really? It wasn't me! Mom's trying to close the show, okay? That was actually no. him. Wow, snitch. <laughs> snitch. Whoa. We didn't teach you right in this household. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Again, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join us. We'll see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. You're supposed to sign everybody up. I am. Let me finish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is what everyone... You guys can all do this next week. Yeah. I will let you all do this all next week. How about she that? She talks to us. Go ahead. Continue. I think you're making it rain. <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Alright, okay. In seriousness, the boys are gonna stop playing now, boys. What am I doing? This is SmackDown Live with the Lynches. Oh, I'm sorry.
I'm the sensation of Miss Chrissy Love. Where can they find you, Mr. LJ? Um, they can find me on the Lynn Lynch channel. And Mr. BK? They can find me on the Brush and Lynch channel. Oh, okay. That's different. And Mr. Love? You can find me on the Larry Lynch channel. <laughs> <laughs> that is all, again, from myself and the rest of the clan and the Lynch domain. <laughs> we are out of here. We'll see you guys all next week. Peace. Out! out. <laughs>